The Escape Pod. I'm Jez Bot. And I'm Dan Oz. And I'm Timmy Taco. Welcome to Turnstile Records Presents The Escape Pods, which is the long form. Oh, we, we we keep saying during the um, small stees mm. that uh, <laughs> that you've got more to say, but uh, it's for another time. Well, I'm kind of segueing. If um, have you heard the? Did you hear the podcast? Code word purple. Ah, <laughs> you well see, <laughs> it's very good. Thanks, guys. Very yeah. good. Okay, so we that, weren't sure if uh, anyone was listening out there. So, you know, we, and, we and I think a... I think have you, you checked the stats recently? We were quite good. We were quite good to you in that episode. I know you do listen to the podcast. Uh, well, it was nice. Well, you occasionally Thanks. text me and go, that was a good episode, boys, even if you're not in it. So here's another one for you. Here you go. I'll give you yeah, another I'll one. Give you that. Thanks. And, Thanks. Uh, Sean I've, I've even I've even rated the podcast. I gave it five stars just uh, in case you're you wondering. Oh, cool, because there's two, there's two recommendations. One's from um, a guy called Daniel... Dan... Dot Eel. Yeah. And the other one's from Tim Dot Taco. Yes. <laughs> so two good reviews there. Yep. Um, Another good review for you was uh, on the Lego Masters. Uh, one isn't of the... that riveting television? I'm going to say yeah, I am is. loving that. We've yeah, been it's watching. Cool. It's, a bit, it's a bit long form. No, Not it's awesome. Ads, it's like awesome. It. I do like it. Yeah. As far as reality shows go, it's you know, really I'm, engaging. I can't watch a Bachelor. I can't watch uh, a, a cooking show. And we've all we've all been there in that Lego. Um, Zone. Zone, yeah, in the yeah. zone. I uh, could see you doing an evil genie lair. I'm, I am all about the lair. So I was mm. saying to Jeremy today that um, yeah, you've got your Oscars or your Roonies of the world who mm. prefer to make spacecrafts. And mm-hmm. uh, my son Mason likes to make um, cars. Mm. Well, I like um, Hamish's um, swishability factor okay. uh, in his rating of the uh, the evil mastermind's getaway vehicle. It's got to be mm. playable. It has to have swishability. Well, that uh, that Hornet, the bee that he made is... Well, next level. <laughs> I'd buy that. Yeah, that I'd, was cool. I'd, I'd buy totally that for buy a dollar. Mm. Uh, my my uh, in- impersonation of the, uh, the Lego Master when Rooney's on it, <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, uh, so Rooney, uh, do you think... You could build something yeah. else that isn't Star Wars related, please. Yeah, are you aware that the Force doesn't really exist? <laughs> How mm. dare you? Um, uh, they couldn't. They couldn't get Rooney on there because they couldn't afford the rights to Empire Strikes Back. So that's um, true. Which he watches uh, religiously when he makes his Lego. If you want to find out more about that, listen to episode one <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever been in Rooney's bedroom, it is a wall to wall, classic, classic Empire. colors. Classic, classic Star Wars empires. Yeah, um, and, and, and can I just say, I don't know, this Lego show came out. I don't know, maybe four or five years after we came up with the idea to do a podcast about it. Yeah, well, mm. we didn't do it though. Mm. We did do it. We one, did one episode. Well, we did. We talked about. Lego I thought it was going to be a Lego based podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Lego right now. We are. Mm. And on another thing on Lego, I thought. I think it's Kmart. Mm-hmm. That's spruiking the uh, the pieces. You can get like a mixed bag for eighty nine bucks, like a box of just random Lego. Yeah. You want to impress me? If you want to impress me at uh, and, ca- and I do, Kmart, yes. yes, and your Woolies, um, give me give me the Hornet set as featured on the show. Mm. I want it. I'll mm. buy it. I, I want that. Be. Mm. Uh, I I think this is a good way for Lego to do a little bit of recruiting. Mm. Um, have you guys been to Legoland? Uh, I, I, what the the one at Charity? Yes, I have actually. Right. I, appeared um, in, I appeared in there, but I didn't have any kids with me, so I just like didn't want to look like a. Clean. Yeah, that's that's probably wise. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, mm. can I just ask you a quick question? How much does it cost? Fifty eight dollars uh, each. Yeah, no, it no, took it's... the three of us. I went to take the kids. Ninety eight dollars mm. for the three of us. And um, I reckon I filled my pockets up with about ninety nine dollars worth of loose <laughs> Lego. Wowzers! <laughs> Is that uh, I just said? Just have at it to my okay. hands. Okay. Is there I'm a statute of limitations on they Lego? They say um, there's a bucket at the at the exit that says empty your pockets, pretty much. But uh-huh. uh, I just didn't. Mm. The honor system. Mm. So always worked, hasn't it? It always works. Always works. So well, there doesn't seem to be a shortage of bricks. Inside the centre, so or anywhere in the universe, no. and you know or what? in the ocean. Mm. Is there Lego in the ocean? There's lots of uh, Lego, and they've changed the recipe. Lego's no. too does precious. Sink? Does it sink? 
It doesn't sing. Did you know that if you lose a piece of Lego, you can write a letter to Lego saying, I've lost this piece, and they will send you that piece free of charge? Really? No, really? really? Let's put that to the test. Can I just write Put that, that on a piece of paper. I'm just going to put that on the old... Uh, Things to do, Liz. Is that, is it that sound like I was f- flapping out a sheet. Is that the same wind? as Hungry Jacks, where you, if you drive through, you have to, if you ask, can I have a two? Sure, for- beef patty, special sauce, that was no, that's McDonald's. Okay, sorry. Uh, if you want a two for one, they they have to give you two burgers for the price of one. If you just say, I'd like a two for one, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Try, try that out on the way home. I will. Dallas. I will. Uh, actually, I went to Hungry Jack's uh, a couple of weeks back with the kitties in the back, and I was like, "All right, we'll have one of these. We'll have mm, one of these." Not like and, you. Uh, and you know, it was yeah. This was a special occasion. Special oh, we're occasion. going to eat some shit. Uh, <laughs> what do you want? Oh, they want everything. Oh, so I had this long order. That. Get round to the window. Um, you got any money, honey? Um, sorry. We don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> no credit card? No. Uh, well, I, I, I said, oh, do you take Apple Pay? And she goes, yeah. And I went, how do you set up Apple Pay? <laughs> <laughs> you go into the waiting bay and you yeah. fuck right off. Yeah. Now, what happens to those lovely, delicious burgers? Which ones? The ones that he bloody ordered and didn't uh, buy. Yeah, what does happen to that? Um, I, you know, I think they just get, they sit on the bench for a bit. And if someone orders it, you go... Bonus, well, because they, you can... Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Because I remember the old system was they used to have the... Um, they used to be making um, burgers, like, constantly, right? That's right. So there'd be a row of 10 cheeseburgers mm-hmm. under the heater. Mm-hmm. And then after a certain amount of Mac time <laughs> uh, on the clock, because they had those fancy clocks, yep. um, they would chuck the leftover burgers into a into a sanitary bin mm. underneath. Then at the end of the, because um, I know because my wife worked at McDonald's, um, they would count off. He was more, off, more like they, a red rooter thief. Yeah. Chicken roll much. thief. Yeah. <laughs> um, they would stock take how many burgers were left over and go, okay, ah. this, so that, then they'd be able to watch their employees, watch, watch, those, watch waste. Watch those filler fish, and filler then, fish. And how do they say the, um, Filet a fish? Or is it a filler fish? It can be whatever you want. Okay. I don't, um, it's shit. I don't basically. want it in my stomach. I don't think it's fish. <laughs> <laughs> Filet is uh, French for not. It's a bit like those crab sticks. I don't reckon there's much crab in a crab stick. Mm. You're a crab. Mm. I think you get crabs if you eat them. Yeah. And that strange orange dye that they put on the outside to resemble crab meat. Same as also... what they put on hot dogs. Mm. But uh, you could get the burgers out of the bin mm. at the end of the night. After the stock the, take. After the stock oh. take. <laughs> yeah. It's not an actual bin. Like I said to you at the start, it's a sanitary bin, but not Ooh. to be not to be confused with the sanitary bins in the toilets. No. Mm. Very different. Very different indeed. Okay. Uh yeah. Well there you go. So um So you're also, saying there's no there's no not as much waste going on at McDonald's now? I I'd say there's next to none. So so they'd cut their losses with um Burger Boy over here. Yeah, I oh, think they're one of everything, actually. Throw it all out. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Are you, um, you? You go there so little that you even order the cookies. I didn't even know that cookies were an option. Okay, all right. Because some people, that Hungry Jack's doesn't have cookies, Tim. I don't think McDonald's does anymore. You can't take away the cookies. Went into a went into a McDonald's um, in. Oh, no, 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 no. Where was it? Sydney, mm. Newcastle. No, it was around here, around this area. I think Malvern. No, it wasn't Mulgrave. Yeah. They're, all the, they're all the same, Tim. Mulgrave. Right. Well, they're not all the same because this still had Grimace, Hamburglar, Mold. That, all the greats. That weirdo. That weirdo <laughs> chick. I don't know what she Who's is. There's a chick. There's a chick in there. Okay. It's is a different it? world, Tim. I'll take my word for it. Um, I thought they'd been done with all of that. Is uh, there a chick? I don't remember a chick. Oh, my I God. I think we're getting caught up. <laughs> is it like <laughs> Hamb- Hamburglar's um, cousin or something? Um, wife? I don't know. She's a, maybe she represents the fries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because of her hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, look. Now that I'm telling the story, it makes it really hard to look it up. Jez, but can you look up? Um, <laughs> what am I looking Old up? McDonald's uh, characters. Okay. But I found it really interesting that they'd still had the original um, characters up there. You know, the big purple grimacey right. guy. Yeah. Don't know what he's supposed to represent. 
maybe the um, soft serve ice cream or the colour of okay, the digestive go. tract. Yeah. Uh, you got yeah. your Grimace. Mm-hmm. You got your Hamburglar. Mm-hmm. You got your Ronald McDonald. I would have put, put him up at the top. Okay, anyway. yeah. Number one with uh, a bullet. Mayor McCheese. Is Mayor that the McCheese, girl? McCheese, yeah. No, that's Mayor uh, McCheese. Man McCheese. I thought it was... Mayor. Man. Okay. Birdie, the early bird. I think that's the one. It's, she look like that? That's the one. She looks like that. It's a chicken. Isn't yeah. it? Chi- oh, she's, she represents she's all the chicken, chicken products. Uh, you got your fry kids and you got your officer Big Mac. Okay. Uh, yep. mm. He's a cop. The he's, most delicious of all. He's the fuzz. May contain pig. Yeah. Um, <laughs> didn't they recently change the law with the whole uh, advertising, uh, targeting children? With junk food and how it's yeah, like it was more so generally frowned um, upon these more days. More aimed at uh, the yogurts of the world, doing um, Monster Zinc yogurt and okay. um, you know cookies that are at eye level that have um, lovable characters of the Disney franchise yes, yes. on them. I thought that's what this such whole, as Yoda and I thought that's what you were amazed by though. The start of this conversation that there was. Well, I'm amazed that these these this, that's that the only characters or. No, that that the, they're still using those those characters to push burgers at um, Birdie Mulgrave. Birdie Mulgrave. Birdie Mulgrave. Early Bird. That's uh Mulgrave is a oh, bit of a strange, like isn't it? Bermuda Triangle easy, though. Easy isn't tiger. It, it is. It, it really <laughs> is. No one really ever talks about Mulgrave these days. No, we used don't. to be used to be the home of um, skanks. And no, VFL VFL Park. I was. I was. Um, you know, it used Waverly to be a, Park. used to be a go to destination, mm. but then mm. it just fell off the radar. Yeah. Once the footy left, the town it's crumbled. It's very far for footy goers to go. What about all the people that live over here? True, true. <laughs> very close, I'd say. So I'd say the city one's pretty far in that case. Yep, yep. Um, but well, um, there you go. There you go. It's, it's, we mentioned the Force earlier, mm-hmm. didn't we? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Star Wars the Force, yes. And uh, this week we had... Um, Is it just me or are your segues dropping in quality <laughs> <laughs> they very well might be uh, is it me or have you not brought up anything yet uh, is it the may the 4th or may the 6th well, or? it was may the 4th and, yeah. and uh, a yeah. lovable a lovable um chewy the guy in the chewy suit yeah um don't actor, know his name the actor yeah. within, um mayhew i want to say yeah mm. was his surname rick Rick Mayhew. <laughs> I don't think it was Rick. <laughs> That's the guy from Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, but he uh, he died this week. Yeah. Well, rest in peace, I guess. Sure. Yep. Um, he made it through all the movies, most of yep. them. A lot of cheddar. It yep. is. Uh, they've already recast Chewie as a guy that played Chewie in the solo movie. was a different guy. No. Uh, is and, he the... Um, he's also the this guy's, this dead guy, dead Chewie's... Um, Stand-in man for the running scenes and all that ah, all the stuff s- where so you don't just sit. He got it by default, so sure, like. sure. Mm. Um, so oh. I was I was thinking how um, we really should mark the occasion by um, going through like some of the best Wookiee lines from the movie, <laughs> like um, if you remember this one. <laughs> That's when uh, Chewie had an itch. It mm. sounded sound like the line from the uh, start of the 20th century. Mm, I think there's a bit of line in Can there. Can you pick where what movie that was from? That was from. Well, it was one em- of Chewie's more memorable lines. Um, Empire Strikes <laughs> Back, I, I believe. I hear you, Chewie. I think there's a bit of gorilla. Yeah, I think that was uh, that was Hoth system. <laughs> that was a Hoth. Yeah. Off growl and yeah, and you yeah, got there's a bit of chill in the air. Yeah, you got mm. your classic. Why that's, am I hearing the that's Return of the Jedi? Why am I hearing the line in the background every time? Well, did you know that? Uh, uh, mm. I was reading the uh, the um, uh, I don't know stories commemorating his newspaper, his 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 life, <laughs> the internet, uh, okay. and <laughs> his uh, voice. He didn't actually ever make art noise on Star Wars. It was all uh, added, mm. added in post <laughs> from a series of orangutans, ah. lions, ah. And, mm. and one other one, which I'm not mm. sure. What's that? Mm. Mm. A whale. You reckon? Mm. 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 Ooh, that's a, a bit heavy, yeah. Uh, but uh, 
Peace out. Who's next in the Star Wars franchise to mm. die? Harrison Ford. Ding. There, there was an announcement today from Disney about the next round of Star Wars movies uh, going into production. Is that how you feel? I'm sick of ca- I'm sick of new um, toys to collect. <laughs> I'm sick of announcements. Oh, I am. I'm getting. Yeah, no, I do like. I do like the franchise. Mm. That's sorry, I don't want to <laughs> you cut you deep there. Um, but uh, I'm happy that. I just thought it was an inappropriate response. Yeah, sorry. I'm to happy, a Star Wars announcement. I'm happy that the canon line of uh, toys will cease. Oh, yeah. You know, no more... Um, no more Wookiees. No more Wookiees. No more um, buy the different packaging just to have the exact same figure. Kind of um, trickery that they go go by, which you guys probably aren't that familiar with. Mm-hmm. Nope. Same same <laughs> figure, different packet. Okay. Repackaged to sell because they, they're not selling them. Okay. Um there's just yeah, I don't, don't want to geek out too hard on yours, but uh, can I get the announcement? The link, oh, the sorry. link to related stories that followed on from the story about his death was about the value of some particular um, characters okay. when sold at auction. Have you got the? Um, I've got them all have right got, here. Have you got the layer in the in the uh, suit with the blaster? Have you got uh, Luke Skywalker with a uh, retractable lightsaber? I I do, but it's not the one that you think. Have you okay. got the Princess Leia Mary Poppins figure? <laughs> the one where she flies through the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what's this got, announcement, man? Bloop. What's this Star Wars announcement? New movies. That's yeah. it. Well, what? No. We'll ch- ch- check, be it, check online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. That's his, that's his tidbit. No, no. Do the, yourself the, at home the, there. The announcement was... Can you turn that uh, torch off oh, your phone? A whole, a whole range of movies that uh, everyone who's got kids is either cringing about or uh, looking forward to quite eagerly. Aladdin's coming out. Lion King, the... the CGI versions coming out. Yeah, they're gonna. They're um, re- oh, it's like the real life yeah. live, live action. And, and, live and action. And Frozen Two is officially only two hundred and eighty three days away from release. Oh, I thought you were gonna say two hundred and eighty three minutes yeah. in duration. Um, what about uh, the new go. Top Top Gun that's coming out? Top Gun Two. Are you going to get on board with that? Fucking oath. Is it, is it entitled? Is it entitled? I have been quoting that movie weekly since the mid 80s. Is it entitled uh, Toscan? Uh, yeah. Okay. It could be. Um, thanks, guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> You're assholes. Well, um, that. But uh, what, do you, what do you think? What, could, do you want to give your prediction of what your, you think the timeline is? Because you probably have a better shot at it than um, most average timeline. Men. Mm. Timeline oh, for like uh, like what you think the plot line is. Well, it's got to be Maverick coming back as an instructor, doesn't it? Did he die? So he's no. a zombie. No, no. Okay. Um, Which it's one got was a, Maverick? I think central to Tom uh, to Top Gun being successful in a sequel is the return of the effervescent and um, <laughs> never uh, aging and never aging Goose. Tom Cruise. Oh, okay. So he yeah, was no, Goose or Goose, Maverick? Tom Goose, Gun. No, Goose died. Oh, Goose died. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> who's Goose? Goose was his uh, Val his, Kilmore. Uh, no, Goose was his um, his navigator. His We're in a black spin. I've heard a really good. I might send you a link to this, but um, for the listeners, if they want to listen, um, look it up themselves on a little thing they call the internet. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they've somebody's analysed Top Gun to reveal that the characters are engaged in um, a homosexual. Uh, Encounter the entire, the entire time, mm-hmm. and that there's all these undertones going through it. So if you want to read into what their mateship uh, resembles, uh, you might yeah. find that they're uh, a little bit <laughs> on the old. Do you want to put a clip in there? In oh. the Navy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, do you want to flag that? Um, no, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can find that, but if you look it up yourselves, uh, there are lots. The there are <laughs> lots of moments where all of the men are together, mm-hmm. men, with, men, with, men. With, That's for the men with side. no tops on, and mm-hmm. they're all greased up and and so, looking. Oh, well, it works for me. Yeah. I've never actually yeah. seen the movie, so is ah. there, there's a lot of uh, volleyball playing, though. Yeah? yeah, there's a little bit of volleyball playing. I think it's in the montage. Is Just it? before he's running late for his date with the sexy. Uh, um, classified instructor. Okay. So there's only one volleyball scene. Yes. Okay. 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 So you saw that bit. Has it got bikinis in it? Nope. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say that's what that's why Jazzbot remembers it. But. I must have seen 
Oh, I just thought there must have been like 14 volleyball scenes because that's the only <laughs> bit of it's it a I've seen. It's a volleyball movie movies. with a few short scenes mm. and aeroplanes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, jets. Yeah. Jets, um, Tim. And across the road. I just um I know this is a crossover from the Steez, but um mm. community concerns. Oh yes. Okay. Um, yeah. and no, it's, it's community concerns. Well in concerning the community what was the time? Uh, got the uh, well, I, I thought was, the, the um, takeaway from the Steez was that you're building a real community in this street now. So much so that you get text messages prior to um dumping shit in your bin. In your bin, yeah. Mm. It's good. It's actually correcting community concerns and creating closer communities. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> or that, CCC, ACCC. That, that so sounds like a government department. <laughs> it sure does, doesn't it? Uh, I've lost my thing, but um, I'd like to bring up a little thing called uh, Al Traffic Jamal, which is Spanish it's Roughly for translated to... The Traffic Jam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I get regular regular crashes out the front. Why do you think that is? I want to know whether it's one of those app situations where mm. I need to, um, like, you've got you've got this app where he, he can um, dob in a steel plate because it looks jagged or yeah. um, something that's interfering. Snap, snap, send, solve. You, you, it's a, take a photo of um, a broken guttering or, or you know. Something, uh, something council related. Mm-hmm. You take a photo of it, it tags it, sends it to the relative uh, municipality and okay. department, and, and they fills ha- out the forms for you. And they have Jesus. to, they have to do it. Okay. Um, so, in this situation where there's nothing really to take a photo of, mm. but I want to mark that it's a black spot for accidents. Yes. Can I campaign to put, get a sign put up to say slow the down? Because there's a little hill. Mm. And it goes, da, 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 and they all jam into each other. Mm. And then the other gripe that I have about these accidents is that when somebody gets into a little ding and the car is clearly not damaged, mm. everybody wants to preserve the crime scene. Yeah, they sure do. They get out, they scratch, they take photos, they stand there till the police arrive. They've got to work it out. Isn't there some kind of rule yeah. <laughs> where you've got to get your car off the road and vacate? The, the area. Lane to make it safer. Tim, I want you to feel the rage <laughs> boiling up inside of you. Feel the hatred. Mm, I can. Right? Let it all out. No, no, this no, no. Is, this is, no, Bottle this it is, down, no, down, no, no. Deep. This is, oh, down. This is a Let safe, it out. Th- this is a safe space. You can, you well, can. I was thinking, I was thinking, geez, it'd be good if I could, um, like spot a, spot a spot. Like spot take a, a photo spot. of a spot. Yeah. Black spot spotters. I think you could go to the insurance companies, couldn't you, and just say, "Where's well, on this? Uh, just in front of my house, how many accidents have been uh, been claimed yeah, on?" Um, okay. Yeah, Vic Rhodes also does a black spot campaign where they track a number of accidents. Okay. Mm. Oh. That that same traffic jam uh, did make me late today to the uh, to the escape pod. Didn't and really affect. Uh, well, it didn't really matter because right. you guys were dicking around, but. The same, the same thing, man. <laughs> like you're saying, it's um, uh, a crime scene. You know, there was there was two cop cars. The 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 drivers were in the middle of the medium strip, just yep. scratching their heads, oh, jumping yeah, up and down, trying to stay warm. To their insurance companies. There was, I, a, there was a fire engine there. It was. Was there? Mm. I did think. Just hey, pull over. Get off the road. Get off the road. Get off your phones. <laughs> yes. Which is probably what caused the whole problem, right? Oh, definitely. Um, Someone was on their app going, this black, This is a black yeah. spot. This is bloody. I need to take a photo of um, this. And, uh, all insurance companies are assholes. Mm. And if you don't capture sufficient levels of detail. Um, evidence. They get you. Evidence. They will not pay. Having said that, double uh, AMI yes. or any one of the insurance companies, if you'd like to sponsor us or <laughs> advertise here at the Escape Pod, you're please not don't. welcome. Yeah, I've, and yeah, I've got a question don't. for all of you insurance companies out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, my insurance is currently due for renewal, mm-hmm. um, and there's a strange thing that I've noticed. I did a little bit of looking into past um, past insurance policies, mm-hmm. and for some strange reason. My car keeps getting older and has more Ks on the clock. Yes. And yet, I keep getting charged more yes. each year for yes. an older car. 
Yeah. This is not right. This is not right. It's a bloody outrage. I think it should go down. <laughs> What's the percentage of the, your car when, you know, you drive off the lot and it's got this, um, like uh, if you drove back straight back into the lot right heaps. away and sold it, you've already lost. 20 grand. Yeah. Yep. I'll give you a fucking... You're never you buying a new car. It's uh, <laughs> halves in price so, a second. You drive it off the lot. Yeah, so it, um, but, it happens there, but it doesn't happen with the insurance guys. So how else right. are you going to get the new car smell? Mm. Uh, formaldehyde. And how much mm. is that worth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, What's the street know. value of formaldehyde these days? Well, I know how you can get rid of formaldehyde. NASA mm. did a study. You just have the old ribbon plants or uh, there's a variety Snake of plants. indoor plants that you can have. Mm. And uh, if you're keen to get a, an indoor plant, why not come down to Camberwell Market on Sunday and see <laughs> Trafford Garden Art? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> stall 332. I was busy trying to, busy trying to work out. Trafford Garden Art. Stall okay. 332. Camberwell well, Mark, this Sunday, Mother's Day. May Mother's Day, yeah. Get all your cocodema and plant needs. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some cocodema. Mm. Um, so you might attract we, the wrong crowd unless you explain what cocodema is. It's not is. cocaine. Yeah, right. uh, no it? cocaine. No, oh, okay. it's a. Maybe I don't want it. <laughs> it's a side side bar of bonsaiing, and it's mm. uh, you basically wrap a plant up in moss and a uh, secret process that I'm not willing to give out on the uh, mm. skate pods. But uh, short enough. Come down, you say escape pods, you get yourself a 5% discount. Yeah, and watch Jeremy smile for the first time in his entire life. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> only if you say the words escape pods to him. Yeah. yeah. Mm. 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 Um, yeah. So, can we just go back? Formaldehyde, what, leaching into the environment well, that, from the corpses? Uh, no, do you know that smell of new carpet? That's formaldehyde. Yeah. It's used in the process of making carpet, and mm. uh, it's really bad for you. So you get some plants, and they take it in. Oh, you put the plants inside, and it absorbs. Yeah, it absorbs. Okay, because I was, I, I, I had this idea that it was leaching into the ground six feet under. Uh, do you sure. ever remember year ten uh, biology class nope. where nope. we, ne- <laughs> we needed to dissect a rat, and yes. when we pulled it out of the jar, it was yellow mm-hmm. because it had been. Uh, Preserved in formaldehyde. Right. Mm. There you go. Yuck. Mm. That's uh, 332. The Campbell mm. Market. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Yeah, it Jeez. is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Um, can we go back even further? Because uh, I was driving here through some fairly heavy traffic today. Yep. Thinking, I'm going to try something different today. And you know how when you go... I'm going to try something different, and then you <laughs> almost immediately regret that decision. Yeah, or you almost immediately do the exact same thing you always do. No, no. Oh. Almost immediately regret it. So, coming to your place, I thought, I'm not going to go that way. I'm no, I'm not going to go that oh, way yeah. either. I'm going to go down Wavo Road okay, uh, so that I don't need to do a U-bolt and you get stuck in the traffic out the front of Pinewood and go straight up here. You really drawing. Found, a, he found the curse. Really drawing a map for everyone out there. Sure. But, <laughs> but, yeah. but, I don't know which house it is. Almost instantly regretted it. Uh-huh. There's no turning. There's no turning arrow. No. So I was stuck for like three sets of lights trying to turn right. Mm-hmm. Get onto Wavo Road. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really move all that fast. There wasn't too much traffic, but it doesn't move all that it's fast. You get to stuck. Annoy. Yeah, and. Um, I was really, really resenting that I'd made this choice. And then I saw two cop cars and a uh, fire engine on the other side of the road. And I went, ta da! I did it! I did it! Ta da! Well, uh, I, I was I going. Like that. That's yeah. very good. <laughs> on the way here, I was, I was doing the whole change lane, stay, change lane, stay. I said, nah, I'll look, I'll stay in the middle. And, uh, you know, st- stick by my choice. And right. it was the wrong decision. Okay, because they know. say that it's the actual snaking. Um, that causes the congestion. Causes yeah, the congestion. for sure. Yeah. Mm. But when Stay you're the sure. only one not snaking, you're the only one being left behind. Yeah, true. Yeah. And getting stuck in, yeah. in what's left behind from the snake. Yeah. Mm. Community concerns. Uh, you angry enough yet, boys? Is it uh, fired up? No, I think Dan did all right. But that, that story about Dan's traffic... Um, cheered me up <laughs> listen to <laughs> listen to the future episodes of the steez where you'll uh hear my confession corner where i uh, get the road rage 
Okay. You say. <laughs> there was a couple more incidents, Stan, but uh, you've you've had some recent incidents. I have. Oh I have. well, we're both fired up. We both talk traffic. Lay it on us. Well, <laughs> when was, have we we aired? Was it in the Steez? Uh, yeah, but that hasn't aired yet. Oh, uh, surely it uh, has. So no. you've you've, oh, has co- it? you've covered this. Uh, oh, well, we're about to cover it in the future, so you might have to wait for that story. Uh, um, <laughs> well, now I'll go ahead. Yeah, yeah go for it. Two. Oh, actually, actually. Oh yeah, 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 go, go. go, go. <laughs> right. I was going to say while you're while you're on the subject of covering it, we should show Timmy Taco the uh, clip. Uh yes, yeah. So but the clip that's on the feed that I yeah, haven't you seen queue, yet. Yeah, you queue you up both, the clip while you, you guys, while okay. you lay a lay a bit of traffic. Okay. Traffic, traffic news. Uh, yeah. Well, I did. Uh, I slipped again. Um, you know, slipped back into the into the hangar. Just for a little bit there, because it, was, it had been it had been a tough week. Yep. And um, yeah, there's a guy on his phone. A guy on his phone. Get and up your phone. <laughs> well, just what saves the day. Basically. So uh, what did you do? Well, well, he just fucking told the story, didn't he? No, you said the dude was on the phone. <laughs> yes. I said, get so off you wound down your wa- your window and shouted said, at him. Get off the fucking phone. So he's basically Batman. Okay. Um, what do you want to tell the rest of the I story? Well, look, he was he was he was looking down, he was looking up, he was looking down, he was he was swerving, he was veering into lanes, and I thought, I, as I was driving up, I thought this guy's either drunk mm. or he's using his phone on his bloody phone, mm. doing his snap send soul. That's the one. Okay, so what Jeremy's leaving out of the story is that he leant out the window and punched the dude's car. What? No, that was the second guy. Oh, that was the second guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's next level. Isn't it? Okay. And was it like the full elbow on the arm out the window as, you, as you're as you reprimanding him? Oi! That's no. surely... <laughs> no, no, look. Look, it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a punch. It was a, a, a love tap, a, a knock. Okay. A ever, knock. ever lent out a car uh, and love tapped another car? I'm going to have abuse. to <laughs> give a... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no shouting abuse and there was no leaning out the car, just just for the okay. record. Here's what happened. I'll lay it on you. Uh, I was up on Wavo Road, as you call it. Yeah. And when it goes... Well, in... I didn't want to be too specific. <laughs> when it goes oh, into the... I didn't want to say Waverley Road. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Anyway, when it goes... Oh, no, I was on Steve-O Road. And when it goes... <laughs> into... <laughs> when it goes through the shops there, it goes to one, one lane. Mm. And I was in front. I was in my ute. Uh, just just cruising 40, 50 k's, put my indicator on, just cr- gently, gently cruising over because I can see the cars coming up. And this guy... Into sp- Springo. <laughs> Into Springo. <laughs> Springo <laughs> Road. Springo, yep. And uh, Sean enough, he's, he's come, he's accelerated and he's trying to keep me in the left lane so I can't just merge. He's I'm trying just- to take your spot. Yeah, and I'm just merging. Just, I'm just yeah. merging. Got my indicator on. Game 100 meters. Uh, Seems to be pretty common on Australian roads these days. Oh, well, I've just travelled to um, New South Wales, mm. and it was a 12-hour drive. And I'll tell you this much: mm. um, we are. Well, I always thought we were we were hustle and bustle down here in Melbourne, but boy, do they love the horn mm. up in. Um, New South Wales. Mm. Well, they can get stuffed. Heavy, they sure can. Heavy on the horn. So heavy on the horn. I was. I already had my window down, mm-hmm. and I'm just. I'm. I'm coming up to the car. I'm like, man, I'm. I'm coming over. I'm. I'm merging. I'm merging. But he accelerated so much so that now he's in the other, uh, in the incoming traffic. So he's, like, go, you know how that makes Jeremy feel. Mm. <laughs> 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 and uh, well, I had to slam on the brakes because mm-hmm. he's, he's blocked me in and he's overtaking and he's just not letting me merge. And so, as the car comes past, because it's like literally next to my rearview mirror, mm-hmm. I leant out and I gave him a love tap on the door just to let him know that uh, he loves him. That he's <laughs> yeah. a dickhead. He's a dickhead, and you let angry tradespeople. Punch your car. Merge. Because mm. well, it, could, just... it could end up with you with a hammer in the back of your head. Oh. Mm. I just think the world would be a, <laughs> be a better place if everyone just tried to... Chill, chill out. A little. Tried, to, just, just, tried to get along. Yeah. Tried to actually love tap each other instead of Look, love really, tapping with a closed really, fist. Take a, take a bit of perspective. Think about how much 
uh, average time you're going to lose on your trip just by letting the occasional person merge. Mm. Mm. I could see it happening up here on the way on the way over with the accident. No one was letting anyone in because mm. the people in the higher car and the taller cars could see mm. that there was a cop car ahead. So they're all slowing down. No, they're all like not Guilty. letting anyone in. Guilty breaking. And look, I mean, as far as the guy on the phone, um, he was swer- he was going to do someone a mischief. He can eat a bag of dicks. And, and yeah. <laughs> get off your parts. <laughs> yep. He's going to, I'm basically doing a community service. Tim, what's the line? Corrective uh, community. He's, he's, um, he's correcting community concerns and creating closer communities by <laughs> love, love tapping. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Good for you. Mm. Now, um, is this... Good for me or... Good for you. Now, am I going to watch this clip? Yes. Yes. Do we direct the Speaker. people... The people to this clip so they can. Uh, enjoy well, why don't you why don't you post it at turnstilerecords.net.au wow, forward slash about that. forward slash the escape pods and while while you're doing that, just listen and okay. play. All right, sure. So press pause, Tim. Tell them what they're doing. Uh, so three blokes sitting on the ground with their legs stretched out. What are they trying to do? They're lying on this dude's arm, so I guess he can't get up. <laughs> Press pause. Well, is, is there much to pause here? Yeah, no, no, just let it play. Let it play. Okay. Good. There's uh, three men lying on the ground on their backs. Yeah. One guy's got his arm underneath him, so he's not going to be able to Trying to convince a little bloke in the middle to just... Just do his best to lie there. Lie there. Oh, they've got him pinned down now. The, their legs over his legs. His arms are pinned down. And it just... <laughs> his ass all over his face. And covered his face in shit. <laughs> oh, my God. So once they had the men pinned down, somebody came with their pants down, a big, giant, hairy buttocks, and wiped... A direct hit <laughs> onto small man's face. Yeah. You. Thus rendering him poo faced. <laughs> Thanks for that. So if you'd like to check it out, I'll wo- uh, will or will not be posting that up. <laughs> if we haven't made a post in a while, and I think the danger is if we if we come in reposting hard and strong with that, <laughs> we may not absorb <laughs> new listeners. That's disgusting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Now, I knew something was up when... Dan the, sent it to you. Well, Dan sent it to me. Yeah. But, you know, you've been in that situation at parties when you were younger or whatever, and someone, you know, the the, the gagger, the guy that's the uh, court jester, yep. likes to pull pranks, if you yeah. will. He's always trying to get you to, you know, put your hand on your nose. Uh, and then you smell the cheese. You smell the cheese, and then he punches your nose, punches your hand, and you punch your nose, and you break your fucking nose. Yeah. Or yeah. the guy that goes, "Oh, just uh, take a seat," and pulls the chair out, and just, you break your back. You or break. the guy that um, um, jumps over the fire, the open fire, last, um, <laughs> and inevitably ends up in it. Hence, why he's last. Mm. Have you ever seen that gag? You've nah. never seen somebody jumping over the fire? Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. And then the last doofus always falls in. Yes, well, a lot like that. Obviously, <laughs> these guys are at the pub. <laughs> these guys are at the pub. They're two bigger fellas, and they've obviously uh, convinced they've him in. convinced mm. this uh, smaller guy He's to we're going to play a little trick. We're going to we're going to show you this thing. You're going to be able to lift us up. Where you know that one where we we we. Put our weight in your arms, and then through a force of nature, you are able to lift us up. I do like right? the, I do like the meeting between the three guys beforehand, where they've obviously gone. Now we've got to get him on the ground. Yes. We've got to pin him down yes. so he can't move. Mm. Then, Gary, as soon as you've seen that we've totally pinned him down and he's like not worried yeah. for his life, you come in, pull and, down your dax, and Gary gash him and wipe <laughs> your ass, cock. Balls and gooch, yeah, in this guy's face, <laughs> yeah, classic. Now my question was, sure, for 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 myself was, self, would I just take a big old bite, or Ooh. do you give it a good old lick? 
and free no, the I don't think I just the don't know how you come back from that. I think the bite, I think the bite would have more um, effect than the lick. But do you want to? <laughs> um, that would actually mean. You know, when no. you're, someone put their when you're a kid and someone puts their hand on, over your mouth and so you lick it. Can yeah, I just okay. point? Can I just point out that yes. that would involve putting a man's scrotum in your mouth <laughs> in order to bite. Well, what's mm. good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay, I, I don't know. Exactly I needed that. the money. I've never understood that saying. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, yeah. I think there's no there's no coming back from it. You either vow uh, revenge. Well, I think mm. that's appropriate. Mm. Or, or do you, you think took a, you took a bite right then and there, and then spewed Ooh. on both of the, the other guy, guys? The guys looked Ooh, yeah. like they were approaching sort of. They were looking around about fifty. Do you mm. think by that time this guy's grown up with a lifelong um, persecution for I'm, I'm for gonna, being the little man pick, go the picked limit. on mercilessly forever, Bullied. and he's just given up? Or I'm going to go out on a limb and say um, he's avoided pranks his whole life. And he thinks he's immune to pranks. Mm. And his, his level of trust that he has for society now mm. led him to being pinned down by three men. Can I also <laughs> just point out that his only option is to go home and kick the dog? True. I don't know if that's <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> right in the gooch. <laughs> it's fucked. Up. It's pretty true. It's yeah. pretty true. No, Do you know it's... what it is? Because we used to tell our cat off, <laughs> Woody, get off the bench, and then throw him outside, and he'd go straight outside and punch copycat in the face, <laughs> whoop, whoosh, mm. and then run off. Yeah. Happened yeah. every time. It's not yeah. funny. Go for those it's that the bully. The bullies will become the uh, yeah. bullies. Yeah. It's uh... the bullied will become the bullies. Yeah. Okay. Bully bo- <laughs> bully boys. While the bullies become bullier. Well, those two big boys that were in their 50s, as you say, Dan, were at boys. least 100 k kgs a piece. A piece. And yeah. the guy that wiped his ass on them, dude, <laughs> was a good 120. Yeah, to one to 140. Oh, so you so. know there's some, some serious Gooch. Ar- aromas and <laughs> bodily <laughs> fluids <laughs> going on in that dude's <laughs> ass. Great. <laughs> Great. Good to bring up. What do you think he was good enough? You know, you know, I'll be a mate about it. Oh, we're just having a prank. Uh, to go and have a bit of a wash down there before he before the whole thing no, went I down. So. I don't think so. No? I mean, I reckon you reckon he was at work all day with a sweaty ass, went to the pub, had like 16 pints. Used the lav. Yeah, he's had, he'd said, had a couple of time. AGBs that but, are you're still like... <laughs> what happens if you, you go by, you go, get your pink eye out uh, after that, don't you? <laughs> How did you get pink eye? Wow, let wow. me tell you the story. Let me show you the video. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Everybody's seen it. My mate reverse kangered me. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there he is. Sorry, that was a double uh, touch. Um, <laughs> he got uh, double touched too. He, he sure, sure did. did. <laughs> Jinx, and also with you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Now, now we're in. Now yep. we are yep. in. 40, 40 minutes before we had <laughs> talked about shit. That was yeah, a record okay, I was checking to it. see. <laughs> Have we had any um, updates with our mm, Speaking about updates, no. Tim. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> I did. Uh, there it is. I'll pay that. There he is. Yeah, well done. Nothing in the news. Nothing in the poo news. Don't forget to look every oh. once in a while. Yes. Actually... Speaking of poo, <laughs> there is a new poo, poo, poo news. Okay. Uh, I'm the new proud owner of a new children's storybook about oh. poo. Oh. Hmm. Is it the? I'll have to report back next. I only picked anyway. it up today. Okay. So is it, uh, is it the poo emoji? No, it's um, all of the little things that live inside your gut that affect what kind of poo you have, and there's all of these poo characters like. Uh, like uh, diarrhea, Bill, and um, <laughs> and stodgy, stu- stodgy Steve, and, yeah, uh, and Steve is this, stool. Is this that uh, that new fad called the gut biome? I think so. The, yeah, I think so. Book, Flora and fauna in the gut. Yeah, yeah. There's another book. Go the fuck to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yes. it's a classic. Yeah. Classic. Um, and I was going to bring up speaking of uh, disgusting, sloppy things. Um, when you go to the supermarket. Mm-hmm. And you go to buy a can of corn, mm. and you get home, and you open it. It's creamed it's corn. Creamed corn. Mm. I thought you were down with cream corn. I am 
on my breakfast toast. I am when I'm ready for it. I'm not when I'm when I need kernels, <laughs> uncreamed. Now, I've always hated it. Something from the childhood. I don't know what Creamed it was. Corn. Cream corn, maybe Could be the is. cream element. How do they? What are they doing to cream it? To pureeing it. So yes. just whipping it up. Yeah. Oh, they'd be adding emulsifiers and um, fillers and one. Two two oh sixes and four oh fives and now I take my kernels like uh, I like my <laughs> <laughs> like I, like I did last night okay. uh, over the char griller okay. over, uh, an hour an hour and ten minutes off the bone mm. and then yeah you cut it off the bone oh you cut it off I you? cut it off the cob I just okay. eat it off I think yeah. it's too much work no nah, you want to lather it lather it in a bit of uh, chipotle mayo and uh, a dusting of um, smoked paprika. On the cob, though. On the cob. So there's not there's not many nutrients in corn to start with. So I don't want to be cutting, though the cutting action, or the chewing action, I should say. Should release pretty, the. Uh, what's what's where are you going? Well, you 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 you're burning energy by chewing it. You know, you're starving yourself by eating too much corn. You're like, are you like you get are you rabbit, in, rabbit are you starvation. enjoying it? I do. Well, there it's not it's not really hurting you. I find it quite remarkable that corn often um, comes out the same as it goes in. Yeah, because there's mm. nothing in it. <laughs> just to bring it back. No, yeah. it just uh, it doesn't br- doesn't break nothing. down. Comes I out as a, comes out as whole kernels. I, I had a little uh, cooking question for you, Dan. Okay, sure. Now, far I, away. Uh, I've still ever since um, the last time we were at your place, I've yeah. had a taste for the old dumplings. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I got myself some yesterday. I didn't make them. Some wrappers. I got no, not the wrappers. I actually just bought dumplings. S- dumplings, okay. as is, and I had trouble with them splitting open, and I couldn't get them to not stick to the fry pan. Were you boiling them or frying them? I did. <coughs> it, was, it suggested that I boiled them. And did you boil them? Did did so. Do you know what the secret to boiling them is? Please do. Um, you need to, a good way of timing how long you need to cook your dumplings for mm-hmm. is you put your dumplings in the water, comes up to the boil, as mm-hmm. soon as it hits the boil, you put another cup of cold water in it, so it takes it off the boil, ah. comes back up again, starts boiling, tip another cup of cold water in, takes it off the boil, comes back up again, tip another cold Jeez. water. Now how many starts? No, no, how stages? Big's your, how then, big's your pot? And then that's it. <laughs> Oh, as soon as it. it comes back up to the boil, you're done. Okay. So this is a this is a ten minute process. Uh, now, how is the uh, nationalisation going? You you becoming Chinese? Are you? Oh, absolutely. Can you actually? Does China take citizens and Fuck you're, no. allowed to, you're allowed to become Chinese? No, no you yeah. you're unlikely to see a more monocultural country. In the world, I think it's very hard in Japan. You can't just go become Japanese like you can yeah, Australian but or American or whatever. To, um, Japan's been integrated with uh, Western nations and the outside world and for a Lights. very, very long time. But uh, you're not going to get your citizenship over there. That's uh, what I'm saying. I think you can. Can you? You can I just go there. Too? I think it's more uncommon in China. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you get a visa. You can yeah. work there, I guess. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be think much it's like, work. Uh, it's what like or not like converting to Judaism. No. Uh, like, no, I think, it's he, not. I think you can do that. Uh, I think Easily. all religion in China is sort of frowned upon. <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Big no-nos. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're praying to President Xi. I would probably refrain from praying. I'd probably re- refrain from uh, mentioning his name on the podcast. Why? Aren't they all listening? Isn't it? Uh, well, well hey, we're uh, certainly not getting the ratings. If they were all <laughs> listening, we'd have millions billions. and millions of <laughs> listens. But um, when did they stop the uh, the old emperor? When did that dynasty and whatnot? Wasn't that did it, China? Did it have something to do with the Cultural Revolution? In, I don't know. That's in which case, I change. would say it's it uh, up, early <laughs> early twentieth century. Mm. Mm. I think the Ming Empire was the Ming Dynasty, th- the last great dynasty of China. Mm. Yeah, mm. you chose to say dynasty differently. <laughs> 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 Strange, Strange choice. Dynasty, uh, dynasty. Was dynasty. it? Was it the show with um, I Dream of Genie on it? 
what's his name? Uh, Genie um, Dynasty. Uh, what's his What's his name? Yeah, on yeah. IDG? There was another show where he used to wear a big hat. So Cowboy now you call that Cow- Dynasty? I think I, I think you do. You didn't call it Dynasty. I think they used to call it Dynasty, but Americans don't understand how to speak English. Mm. Have you noticed that? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sure. Yeah. Mm. One thing. Mm. One thing. Right. One thing that does throw me though. Um, yep. I've always grown up well, with the there, with the word He's fine. project, but I'm surrounded by people who love a project. Project, mm. yeah. Mm. I don't know where I from? stand on that one. Yeah, yeah, it throws me every time. Yeah. I think I'm saying project. I think mm. I'm saying project. Mm. Yeah, not project. What's your next project? What do you do when you have a uh, projector? You project pro- project it. Project it. Yeah, yeah. You project it onto point. the Different wall. Different word. Project. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what about the word film? Is that how well, you guys I say it? <laughs> nope. If you okay. want to end this podcast right now. What about the word? <laughs> keep saying what film. What about the word movie? Do you like, do you like going to the, the films movie. to watch a movie? No, I've no? never said that one, Tim. No, I never Neither said that one I. either. No, no. no. And I don't think Americans have either. Right? I think I just said that off okay. the cuff. Um, but, uh, you could probably very, edit that one if you wanted. I probably could. <laughs> now I can. Um, very interesting, though. Uh, you, you, you did choose Dynasty over Dynasty. Well, what country would you go to if you had to leave Australia right now and become a citizen? Based what's what's your best? They, based based solely on the way they pronounce things. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, Scottish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they they've got some. Yeah. They're speaking English over there. Is it? But the yeah. cl- <laughs> climate. Is that what that that's is? English, man. But the climate's yeah. a bit shit. Very shit. No, I'm not going to Scotland. I'll, let me have a think about it. I reckon New somewhere. Zealand? Somewhere like. Nah. You've got your Switzerland or your, somewhere where they've got their uh, shit, shit together. together. <laughs> mm, yeah. 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 It's a bit more expensive to live there, but you've only got to work three days a week. Yeah. Get chipped over there pretty easily. Oh, yeah, yeah. the old RFID chip. Mm. I've heard Sweden's quite a, quite a nice place to be. Vienna is the new uh, most livable city in Austria. Okay. Um, but it's also the worst flavour of ice cream. We, um, you know when it used to be fancy, a Vienna? Wasn't yeah. that a Viennetta? <laughs> sure. All depends. <laughs> it depends on how you, how you pronounce it. Depends it depends on how you say it. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, very disappointed. Just to okay. sidebar you there, yeah. I had a Viennetta yeah. thinking, oh, it's, we're getting fancy tonight. Not fancy at all. <laughs> Worst ice cream. Mm. I'm going to go out and limb. Yeah, go on. Ever. What? Ever. I don't. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, so you were saying. Yeah. Well, we're trying to Vienna. Pick, a, pick a country. Tim doesn't know where anywhere is. So. All I know about his ice creams. <laughs> I think I'd probably steer clear of um, the Middle East. I probably wouldn't have Africa at the top of my list. Mm-hmm. Um, Trump's president of the US, so you don't want to go there. No. Canada seems pretty cool. Where's Neapolitan ice cream from? Oh, I'd say that it's, would be it's in between it's chocolate and strawberry. Well, it <laughs> definitely sounds... Italian, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Um, the Italians are right. Well, oh, gelati yeah. is that yeah. a is that a place as no. well? No. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it is. Is there, is there any ice cream that's named after a town? Um, hmm. Not just the way you, Tim pronounces it. Was there a Freckle Rock? <laughs> uh, only in make believe. <laughs> okay. Um, Lem Lemnos Le- Lemon Lemon. Mm. Lemon ice cream. Yeah. Where's is there the lemon ice cream? Is there a Lemnos? Is there a Lemnos? Yes. Is there? Lemnos. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Mm. I think we're uh, going off track here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We'll get back on track. Cream corn. Very disappointing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I know. Oh, my dishwasher's broken again. There uh, it is. There he is. Um, white goods. Do you want to talk white goods for a moment? <laughs> yeah, for a long time, <laughs> Why not? Long time listeners. Yeah, you probably haven't heard me talk about my dishwasher or Dan's white goods for at least. Well, I have just bought a stove, range top, and oven for uh, a package deal. Uh, well, I tried to get a package deal, and he. 
didn't really want to give me one, so I went, mm, I'll take it anyway. Did yeah, okay. <laughs> well, did, so, do they deliver that in a box you install it yourself, or do they send it around uh, a guy to do that? They Well, if I need... Yeah, I will need to get guys to do that for me. Um, mm. But I think it's turning into a, one of those larger projects that's mm. quickly getting out of control. Does it measure up to the space where the old one exists? No, it's smaller. Oh. But oh. but we want to no 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 but we want to change all our cupboards to fifty oh. grand. Yeah, see you in fifty grand, Dan. It is just a complete kitchen makeover it based is, on it that is. three mil either side that you've, um, <laughs> yeah. you couldn't get a good. Well, you've deal been to on. our place. The other thing that annoys me is the fact that I've got a hundred and fifty mm. mil overhang of our fridge mm. into the hallway. Ah, uh, yeah, and yeah, and that bugs me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, you, don't, you never want to see the back of the fridge, do you? Nah, never. Nah. No. So, what are you doing with your old dishwasher? I'm not getting rid of the dishwasher. <laughs> the dishwasher <laughs> works fine. All right, but we will we will go out on the limb here, and um, I mean this is going to come up in the Steve's episode, mm. so don't rinse all of your material. Yeah, well, I've, that's what I'm saying. But Dan, what's enough. your policy on um, if you pack the dishwasher? Mm-hmm. Does anybody else in the house have the right to repack, repack it? Yeah. Um, personally, I couldn't give a shit. Okay. Oh, Good. Right. See? I see. Yeah. I see. Interesting. So, uh, Jeremy's, a, Jeremy's a repacker. He's an open checker. Okay. Um, I'm, an over, <laughs> I'm an overpacker. Uh, I probably lean towards overpacking. I'm thinking heat, general heat and mist. It's probably enough to clean most things because if everything's been given a basic rinse, the heat and the zhuzhing from so the you're, you're a pre pre rinser. I'm a, a when when necessary, when not oh, not okay. overboard. Okay, well, I'm telling I, you, I am I'm a no rinse. Well, how often overload. do you uh, how often do you clean your dishwasher? Oh, each oh. Yeah, since each. the last time that we talked about dishwashers on the escape pod, uh, um, not <laughs> since then. This no. has really gone downhill fast, doesn't it? <laughs> but you, you can't tell me that mist and heat is going to get into the third or fourth bowl that you've stacked up on top of each other. Oh. Is is that photo Give an overstack? Because I said that to you straight away. I was, I've, got, I've got a strange feeling like my text messages aren't getting through to you, Jeremy. Because every time I tell you something, this, you just go. This what are you dishwasher. Looks like it's been packed by a fucking lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom shelf has this. You've got three of your same size plates mm-hmm. randomly scattered on that bottom row. Mm-hmm. And intermittently, you've got these plastic bowl and plates in the middle. Do you want to know my logic? You've of- got your pair of scissors. Do you want to know my, my logic of. What's of, going on with the knife big- up the top, Tim? Oh, there's always a knife up the top. On top of the cups and yeah, cutlery you can't and stand shit, you... in the basket because it hits the wizard. Show the wizard. that to show that to Dan. Uh, Tum- knives, knives always go up the top, but I've actually uh, I've stopped putting knives in the dishwasher period because uh, it actually blunts them. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to say because you I have children. Had, I've got a knife sharpener, so that's not really a problem. Assess that dishwasher and and you be truthful, Daniel Vaughan. Can I just give you my logic? That's 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 a hard pass from me. Good. <sighs> Thank you, Dan. And do you want to know my logic between the I don't know placement you anymore? The placement of large to small plate ratio. Yeah. Now, what happens when you put the same size back to back to back to back? Like soldiers standing like up. Soldiers standing up. Mm-hmm. They're not getting the random spray because they're all the same size. If you put a small with a large, the water's got more chance of hitting the big. More space in between. Yeah. Are you but, going to put your cavalry heat- with your bloody? Stormtroopers, and you're, you, you, you've got to line everything up as soldiers. Mm-hmm. Your your glasses, same size glass. They should only have one size glass in the house, but nah, so you can get no. a better stack no. in the dishwasher. It's the Can't heat, imagine. the caustic uh, cleaning shit, and <laughs> the zhuzhing is enough. I don't think it needs random sprays. It just needs a bit of bit of time in the heat. Yeah, steam. Because mm. what what's bacteria gets killed in? What yeah. seventy? Can I can I tell you why? Can I tell you why <laughs> that is precisely complete, completely insane? What you just said. Now, sure. when you're unpacking the dishwasher, you've you've thrown everything in there. Okay, I, I, I marked. Yeah, I marked how many dirties came out of this load because I knew you were going to quiz me on it. No, Go. It's unpacking it 
Yeah. When I do it, when all my soldiers are lined up, I can up pick up once. all the plates at once. Yeah, it does yeah, make sense. I grab a, all the knives point. at once, throw them in, grab all the forks. I don't have to do any sorting in the cutlery. Mm. All okay, out of that overload that you <laughs> scuffed at, two bowls came out mm. with a little bit on them. Two. Mm. Mm. Did you hear that? Two. 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 Deuce. Proving that... The method works. And what I, what did I do with those two? Left, left them, them in, there. in there. There. Bam. Dishwasher. Half packed already. Well done. I'm yeah. Here. And you do put knives in the top. You do. Thank you. Well, <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to paint the dishwasher. I guess I see, <laughs> see what's uh, going on here. Tim has obviously called up Daniel <laughs> during the week and said, no matter well, what he says about dishwashers, Back me up. I'll yeah. tell you that's what. Insane. That's how about insane. how about we set you a little bit of a task okay. mm-hmm. uh, as your homework for this week? Mm, sure. uh, go and randomly pack your fucking. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the dishwasher doesn't work. Yeah. But yeah, well, follow through. Follow through. Uh, once you have a functioning dishwasher, mm. randomly pack it mm. with scungy dishes yeah. mm-hmm. in a sort of back against back type of fashion mm-hmm. and let's hear about the results like a weird science mm. yeah mm. do it I wish I had the weird science I actually do but it's hidden in the soundboard somewhere I don't want to mash too many there it is <coughs> there he is there it go that'll do well, I'm back on uh, hand washing everything, so it's uh, it's a living nightmare. Yeah. And anyone out there that doesn't have a dishwasher, do yourself a favour this year. Here's Jezbot's hot tip: go get yourself a dishwasher. Right there, you go. Get Pretty it installed. Much. I thought yep. you were going to say with hand do washing. It. You've hand well, hand washing. Just try and try try to avoid it. Yep. For starters. Really. Because mm. I found that in the time it took for the water to start in the dishwasher. The leftover dishes that didn't fit in the dishwasher could possibly jam. Oh, they're already done. Mm. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Run a sink. Mm. So you use nine litres in the sink and nine litres in the dishwasher. Do you reckon a sink holds nine litres? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Bucket of Bunnings bucket, Tim. You Rick. wouldn't like how I wash dishes then. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could put that entire load through one sink. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. Bubbly. Mm. Luke warm. Warm. <laughs> lukewarm and a bit slimy. <laughs> yeah, it does end up that way. Soupy, some would say. But on that note... Do you uh, want to come around for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Love to. On that note... Yeah. Uh, I think we did it. I think that's a, a fully f- uh, fleshed out, really well-formed podcast that yep. we've just created. Out of nothing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It <laughs> had its highs. It had some lows. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can review it after we stop recording, if okay. you like, and All we'll right. talk about that more next week, if mm. we need to. You've got your homework. Dan, you never do your homework. <laughs> and um, my my next episode's already ready. I've already got my stuff where I'm... Plus, you've got to this. edit this today and put it up. And... I sure do. Uh, um, all yep. right, well, there we go. Um, thanks for joining us again uh, in my studio. Uh, for Turnstile Records presents. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah. And also with you. Uh, <laughs> none taken. Uh, <laughs> do you want to. Oh, well, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm Jezbot. Out- introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Jezbot. I'm Dennis. I'm oh, Timmy Taco, the boss. <laughs> Thank you for pressing the self destruct button. This ship will self destruct in exactly 2 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs>